Okay, good day po sa ating lahat. This is Teacher Tech. Once again, I am here for uh, our DepEd forms, formulation of our DepEd forms. So right now, we will going to make a formula about the frequency of error. To start with, let me shout out. Uh, shout out to Maria Teresa Oropesa, Master Teacher of PISA to Elementary School in Cebu City Division. Uh, Ma'am Maria Teresa Oropesa, uh, shout out mo sa inyo. Si Ma'am Tess po yung nag-request nitong forms natin na lagyan ng formula. Ayan, shout out to you ma'am. Okay, let's start. Uh, form po na ating gagawin ay ang for, uh, frequency of error. Okay, uh, makikita po sa download link yung kung saan nyo po madadownload ang lahat ng ating mga forms na ginawa. Ayan. Okay, in here, uh, this is my frequency of error that I have made. Uh, medyo matagal na, tagal na po ito mga way back 2016 ayan, yung share ko po sa inyo okay, so in here there are two sheets, uh, let's uh, have here the input the number of students, so please input the number of pupils in the red box so, like for example, you are uh, having a 48 in your classroom okay so in here so you can write here the grade and section Number of examiners, 48. And the date, kailan po ito nagawa or nag-take ng exam. Exam name, first periodical test or any uh, exam name or title name ng exam. Lagay nyo dito. Okay, so in here, uh, wala na kayong gagawin. Uh, kundi ilagay yung mga errors. You can copy and paste if you have, if you done the item analysis Copy and paste lang po kayo dito. Okay. So, napaka-simple lang gawin. Copy and paste lang po ng mga errors. Like for example, if you will have 30 item test, dito na lang po tayo. Dito na lang po tayo mag-ingkod. Hanggang dito na lang po. So, you can delete here. Or you can leave it blank. Para hindi masira yung forms. Okay. So, may nakita akong forms na medyo parang nalito sila okay I will uh, let me uh, explain these forms kung bakit uh, kaila hindi hindi natin dapat gawin ito kasi I mean hindi natin dapat uh, sundin ito nga forms yung may nakit, uh, kasi may nakita po akong ibang forms nga medyo nakamali sila ng formula okay here let me explain so to get the error it's not about how many items to get the formula here no so in here uh, kaya nagbigay ako ng isang sheet please input the number of pupils kasi itong number of pupils gagawin natin or ito ay part sa ating formula okay part ito sa ating formula patungo dito sa frequency of error kasi yung nakita kong forms ang ginawa nila uh, is uh, nag-input sila ng percentage kasi ang formula nito is ito I will show you okay, zoom in natin okay let me copy one cell ito. sa English muna tayo okay, here copy ko tapos ilagay ko dito examples for example you will have one 2, 3, 4, 5. So, let me uh, remind you, uh, for the percentage of this one, uh, hindi po pwede nga gamitin sa formula yung number of, uh, I mean, items. Hindi. Ang ilalagay mo nyo po dito sa uh, percentage is the sum of the errors divided by the number number of pupils times 100 okay i will show you this delete natin dito okay nagyan natin ng formula equals sum of sorry sorry this one here is the sum uh, of this one divided by the number of pupils. Okay. 
Okay, sorry, may, uh, naputol kasi yung video. Uh, medyo nag-lowbat yung laptop. Okay, again. Okay. Ito, uh, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung ano yung ginawa ng formula. Kasi, okay, nagyan natin ng indicator dito. Yung ginawa nilang formula is this one. Uh, sum of the Ah, uh, wait. Let me explain you. Ginawa nilang formula is yung error uh, divide nila sa number of item test. Test item uh, multiply or x multiply uh, 100 para percentage. Para lumabas yung percentage nila. Okay. Pakita ko sa inyo ha. Equal sum of open close parenthesis of here divided by halimbawa 30 item test lang po. So 30 item test uh, in close and times 100. Yan. So, ito yung formula nila. Okay. I will give you here the test item. The data is equal to 30. Yan na. Then, the here, number of students. Example lang po ha. Uh, I have 48. Okay, here. So, test item, ito po yung item nila ha. Uh, ito, ito po yung formula niya. So, error, magkano yung error, uh, divide by the number of test items times the 100. Okay, for example, uh, 30 items, uh, mayroong nagkamali lang ng... Uh, uh, okay, let me... Let's say, 48 yung nagkamali. So, ayan. Ang percentage is 160. Nagtataka kayo, bakit uh, naging 160 instead of magiging 100. Diba? Dapat 100 po ito kasi all of the students got the wrong answers. Diba? So, ayan. Uh, ito lang po yung kinaklarify ko. Mali po yung ginawa nila ng formula. And here, let me correct you sa gumawa ng formula. Uh, hindi na po ito uh, I mean, uh, sana po makorek nyo po. Okay? Uh, tulog ko po lang uh, Ito po ay ginawa ko para matulungan, maliwanagan kayo. So, and here, ang gagawin ko ng formula, wait, drag ko muna, is error divided the number of students. Ito yung sa akin. Error divided by the number of students multiplied by 100. So, dito ang lalabas na percentage. Okay. So, equals the sum of here divided 48. Kasi 48 po yung number of students ko. Then, close and multiply by 100. Okay. So, let me check. 48 ang nakakuha ng maling sagot. So, 48. Tingnan natin if magbawawan if magwa 100% po ang percentage niya. It means insakto or correct po ang ating formula. Okay, so ano yung lumabas? So instead of 160 naging 100 siya. So in here uh, ito po ang formula na dapat nating gayahin or gawin. Ito. Okay, hindi po ito kasi Okay, kahit uh, uh, let me explain for the kindergarten, they have five, five, only five test items. Okay, let's have here five items. Okay, five items the same din. Meron na kong 48 students. Okay, so let's exchange kasi dito 30 items, make it a uh, five kasi yung ginawa nila is five. Kasi yung number of items is 5 lang. Tingnan nyo. Kung 
Okay, sa nakikita nyo, again, so, in-exchange ko yung number of items dito, kasi yung formula nila dito is num error divided by the number of items times 100%. Okay, okay, sa tingin, sa tingin nyo, insakto ka ha, ah, kaya ito? Nga dapat ilagay or i-divide nyo ang number of items? No. Dapat ang inyong uh, i-divide or ang formula na gagamitin, gagamitin natin is ang error which is ito divide divide 48 48 is the number of students diba? multiply by 100. So ang lalabas ito. Okay? Gets nyo na po? Okay, sana ay malaking tuloy to sa inyo. Uh, pasensya na if na-correct po kayo. Ah, uh, para hindi na po malaganap yung maling uh, formula. Okay? So, once again, uh, yung formula natin, I mean, yung formulated form natin form, nandun sa ating website, uh, na, nandyan sa download link. If you have questions, you can comment down below. And to support and to have more uh, DepEd forms like this, you can subscribe, like and subscribe our video or our channel. Okay, thank you po and God bless po sa ating lahat.